YouTube, what's going on? What's going on? Your favorite East Coast trucker, big trucker, Ryan. Here you go, right here. <laughs> they want to let you all know, uh, you know, bad weather out there today, as you can see. You know, everybody got to be safe. You know, uh, watch, watch everything. You know, watch your speed. Watch the people around you. Watch the hills that are coming up, the turns. Watch everything. You know, it's very important that uh, we uh, be extra safe today. We bring our speed down a little bit. And we all try to just be extra careful in the snow, you know. Uh, like I said, watch the people around you is very important. So it's, um, I'm out here in Grant, Grantville, Maryland, out by uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. So it's been snowing like crazy. Uh, not snowing, I'm sorry, but icing like crazy since I woke up this morning. I woke up at the pilot right down the street. And uh, I woke up to ice all over my windshield and uh, my headlights were covered and everything. So I get out and I walk into the pilot to get some coffee and uh, there was probably an inch of ice on the ground. So I waited till my hours were ready to, uh, for me to leave. Um, you know, when my break was up, my 10 hours, uh, you know, I took off. I was a mile, like I was 1.8 miles away from my exit. So I left and uh, just climbing the hill, the mountain, because I'm in, you know, a lot of big mountains around here. Just climbing the hill on uh, 68 is uh, was 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 uh, pretty tough. My tires spun all the way up to the top. You know, granted, I'm uh, I'm empty right now, but uh, yeah, just bad. It's real bad out there. You know, I crossed a little bridge and I was only going 40, 45 miles an hour, and you know, I felt my ass end sliding a little bit. So, you know, just take extra precaution today. You know, try to be a hero. You know, see some, I see some of these uh, truck drivers. I see some of these truck drivers are passing me up at like 50, 60 miles an hour, you know, just because you got a load of steel on or, you know, you, you know, you got 30, 40,000 pounds in the back doesn't mean that you can't slide off the road like uh, like I can, you know, uh, you know, I hate it that uh, a lot of people have that mentality and that thought process that they can just, uh, you know, they can just drive fast. You know, uh, they see a slow driver and they're like, oh, this person don't know how to drive in the snow. Does anybody really know how to drive in the snow? Ask yourself that question. Come on. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're experienced or inexperienced. You could be a kid or, or an adult. You know, uh, a slide is a slide. You know, falling off the road is falling off the road. I don't care who you are or how much experience you have. Uh, you know, nobody's trained to drive on ice. You know, it, it's just, okay, what kind of tire you got, you know, don't matter. Don't matter how heavy your vehicle is. You know, ice is, uh, you know. It's, it just takes it just takes so many lives, you know, snow and ice every year from people being careless, you know, thinking that their, uh, you know, their vehicle is uh, better than the next person's or they got, you know, they got the good tires or whatever, you know, it's don't don't rely on that. You know, you see a snow and ice just like the rain, you know, you you, you take your speed down a notch and you be careful, you know, watch out not just for yourself. So you get home safe to your family, but uh, watch everybody else so you don't you don't mess anybody else's uh, day up, you know? So, hey, look, I just wanted to, I'm waiting on the dock here. They told me I can't hit the dock until this guy's done plowing. So hopefully he's done soon. That's all ice in there he's plowing. Well, it's starting to change the snow now. Thank goodness. You know, I don't mind driving in the snow. It's that daggone ice, you know? And I tell you what, I don't care where it's at or what the weather is. It could be rain, sleet, snow, don't matter. Trucker Ryan's gonna find a fishing hole somewhere. You you already know. You already know there's a pond close by somewhere with my name on it. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know how picking up trash is gonna be in the winter time with all the snow on the ground, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna take no breaks. That's for sure. Just because it's winter time, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out there and uh, clean up the dang old trash. Don't matter if it's snowing or not. I pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> All right. Hey, look, y'all. Y'all be uh, y'all be safe today. Extra safe. Remember, watch your speed. You know why? You know, decrease your following distance. Watch people around you. You know, mind the hills, mind the turns and the curves. Just just to be extra careful. You know, I'm I'm sitting here right now watching the highway in front of me. Like right right over there at that wood line is the highway. Uh, Highway 68, and I tell you what, man, I see, I, I'm seeing like, you know, truck drivers coming from up that way, and, and then that's starting to go downhill, and then it gets real bad down there. It just drops, and they're coming down the hill that on 50, 60 mile an hour. I'm like, woo! Tell you what, 
50, 60 mile an hour, you get to the, you get to the top, the crest of that hill down there, it's going to be too late. Too late. These suckers are in high gear. They, you know, nine tenths, or if you got a, you know, higher gear pattern, you know, you're, you know, it's too late. You know, you can't downshift by that time. You know, you go to tap your brakes and you sliding, you sliding, sucker. Like, <laughs> it ain't going to be a fun feeling. You get that little pit in your gut, like, oh, I can't control this. Just, uh, you know, don't try to do that. You know, ain't, ain't nobody a hero out here, you know, it's everybody try, everybody have is out here for a purpose. You know, we out here to make money, make a living for our families and, uh, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't worth any of us dying. You know, I mean, if we're dead, we can't, we can't provide for our families. So why not just take your time and, uh, you know, do it safely, you know, in a safely, in a safely manner. So, Hey, look, I'm taking no more, uh, no more of your time. Thank you for watching my video. You know, I'm sitting here just, uh, figured I talk to you guys a little bit. So remember, be safe today. And, uh, remember, you know, trucker Ryan's out here doing it, you know, trying to be safe, picking up trash one day at a time. And, uh, you know, just living, you know, I'm living, I'm living the American dream. You know what I mean? So y'all, uh, y'all please like and subscribe to my page and, uh, let's keep this, uh, truck around movement going. Help me out, please. You know, uh, we got to get the trash off the ground. If we band together as a team, you know, we can do it. Truck around is only one person. You know what I mean? I need some help out there. So if you're willing to help me out, send me a message, uh, look for me on Facebook, whatever. I'm about to have a website soon. And, uh, you know, reach out to me, you know, maybe I can, uh, maybe I'll be in your community next and, uh, you know, we can all get together, you know, and clean up some trash, you know, just sweep, sweep a neighborhood out, you know, let's go to a neighborhood or a city, you know, band together, you know, a whole bunch of people, you know, all of us, unity, you know, we'll all come together, put safety vests on, kids, whatever, you know, we'll get the garbage bags out and, you know, we'll just sweep a city, you know, and clean it up. So, I mean, I'm more than willing to do that with uh, some of my spare time, you know, because I'm tired of looking at it, so. Hey, look, y'all be safe out there. God bless you. Until next time, Chuck a Ryan. Woo! <laughs> See you guys.